Yeah. Before you decide, you should know all of the facts. The life of a pirate may not be what you expect. And who's better to explain the life of a real pirate than the three of us? A trio of real pirates. Allow me to introduce myself. I be Grace O'Malley, the one and only Sea Queen of Connacht. <laughs> Long John Silver, captain of the Hispaniola! <laughs> captain? Bah! You weren't captain until you incited the crew to mutiny. And you only mutinied so that you could find Flynn's treasure before that Hawkins boy. And, and, wait just one minute, Long John Silver isn't even a real pirate. Treasure Island is only a story, a work of fiction. What was that? Yeah. Not a real pirate. Not a real oh, pirate. Why, I was Flint's quartermaster on the walrus. These very hands helped him to plunder that treasure. And after he buried it, that clever dog, do you think just any sort of sailor would have had the nerve to go searching for it? But I did, only to be captured by the very captain I'd mutinied against. But... I escaped, and I even got away with some of the treasure as well. Could anyone but a real pirate have survived all of that and lived to tell the tale? I think not. Now, Long John, no one doubts your piratical exploits. But the fact is you are just a pirate character from Treasure Island, which was not even published until 1883, long after the golden age of piracy. We are here to teach these good folks some true pirate history. But I be a part of pirate history. Whenever someone thinks of a pirate, what do they think of? Parrots and peg legs, buried treasure and black marks. Why, without Treasure Island, you pirates would have been another forgotten page in the history books. Or, if you were remembered at all, it would not be with the same flair that you have today. Why, whenever someone hears my name, Long John Silver, it invokes the very image of a pirate. All it invokes for me is fish sticks. <laughs> what would you know about it? You're just a girl, and no self-respecting pirate would allow a girl on his crew. How dare you? I was pirate enough for Calico Jack. In the Boston newsletter, my name was listed as a wanted pirate alongside all the other men. True. True, but when the revenge was caught by the authorities, you did not stay alongside the other men while they faced their punishments. Oh no, you were let off, leaving your calico jack to face his doom alone. What do you know of it? I'll tell you as I told him. If he had fought like a man, he need not have been hanged like a dog. Oh, why, you are meant to take that back. Who can hold her temper? 
be the captain. Wait just one second. In Calico's crew, we always had a boat for the captaincy and for the quartermaster, too. If we're going to run things here as real pirates, Ahem. sorry, historic pirates, then I think we'd better vote for the captain. With the three of us voting, the winner only needs two votes of mine. Then we'll have a captain. Right. Very well, you two. All in favor of Grace O'Malley, the one and only sea queen of Knuff, say aye. All opposed, say nay. Nay. I guess the vote is spoken. But if not me, then who should be the captain? I'm me, of course. All in favor of Anne Bonny of the Pirate Sloop Revenge, say aye. All opposed? Nay. Very well. But if not us, who should be the captain? Two of you, eh? Am I nothing but a wooden leg? You can't be the captain because you're not even a real pirate! What was that? I'm a historic pirate! No, no, he's right. To be fair, we should give him a chance. Besides, we can always have a vote of no confidence afterward. <laughs> All right. All in favor of Long John Silver, say aye! In the name of Davy Jones's beard, all opposed. Nay. <sighs> well, that did us a lot of good. What we need, what we need, are some recruits to join our pirate crew. How about all of you out there? Anyone looking to enlist? Wait just a moment. Calico and I, we always had better luck enlisting a crew when we explained to them all of their options. Well, what are their options? <laughs> enlist with us. Or die! Die! Oh. I don't think we should threaten the audience. That's the only way! You see, Calico, he knew that in order to enlist a crew, we had to prove to them our sense of justice. So when we captured a ship for its cargo first, we had to decide what was to be done with the captain. Now I'll need someone to play the part of the captain. Well, obviously, you need a captain. Nice. Fine. We all do. Hands behind your back. So... We would bring the captain before his very own crew, and we'd ask him, was this captain fair to you? How'd he really treat you? And if he was good to his crew, we'd let him live. And what if he wasn't? Oh, well, if he was cruel or unjust, we gave him only what he deserved. We'd send him down to Davy Jones's locker. Ha! No, I can't swim! Oh, no. <laughs> Wow. What? 
I just didn't expect the Sea Queen of Hanax to have it in her for that sort of violence. I had to earn my name, didn't I? Richard Bingham called me the nurse of all rebellion. But I knew it would take more than piracy to free my people from the tyranny of English rule. So I swallowed my pride and went to have a meeting with Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, you mean King George? No, Queen Victoria. They came later in my day. It was Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. I knew it was my responsibility to meet with the Queen and seek preparation for our hearts to go to Ireland and to see the release of Irish prisoners, including two of my own boys. But most of all, I had to negotiate a truce. You mean you had a parley? A what? Parley. It's when enemies meet to resolve a conflict or negotiate a truce. I thought every pirate knew about parley. It's in the pirate's code. Pirate's code? What are you blathering about? Do you mean the ship's articles? No. Well, yes, but not our ship's articles. The ones set forth by Bartholomew Roberts and Henry Morgan, the Pirata Code Deck. I have never heard of such a thing. Neither have I. What does it say? Oh, it's very important. It lists all the rules governing pirates, including how and when one should have a parley. It was written when a group of the nine greatest pirates of our age met at the edge of the world where the sea waters <laughs> fall into a vast emptiness <laughs> and the great kraken arises from the dead. Long, John, just where did you hear about the Strun Codex of yours? Uh, from a very reliable source, a good friend of mine, Captain Jack Swallow. Oh, wait. No, it's, it's not that. It's, it's Captain Jack's... Uh, it's definitely a sp sound. Spotted owl or something like that. Captain Jack! Bah! I knew you couldn't be trusted. Your source is as fictional as you are. But he be as much a pirate as I. But you are not a real pirate. Not a real pirate? I'll show you what a real pirate can do. Come at you! Ha ha ha! Here to England to meet with Queen Elizabeth, not King George or 
Queen Victoria, and then they need to turn against the crown and embrace a life of piracy? That all sounds incredibly complicated. No, we simply need to appeal to their sense of patriotic duty. I still think my way of enlisting a crew would be faster. Ha-ha! I mean, ha-ha! I think you're both, both making this far too difficult. Why don't we just ask them to join our crew? What if they say no? Say no? Just look at this salty bunch. They're halfway to being pirates already. Very well. Let's ask them. All you good folks out there, are you ready to be a pirate? Yes. <laughs> Looks like you were right, Don John. They were ready to enlist. Well, now that we have our pirate crew, we can vote for the captain. And this time we can have all of them vote as well. All in favor of Long John Silver, say aye. Aye. <laughs> All in favor of Anne Bonnie of the Pirate Soup Revenge, say aye. 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 All in favor of Grace O'Malley, the one and only Sea Queen of Connacht, say aye. Aye. Well, that settles it. It certainly does. Without a doubt. I'm the captain! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to be a pirate? We hope you enjoy the 